We are on the Poly6 Ensemble insert effect. Let's look at the block diagram. This is a mono in, mono out, so it takes the left and right signal, sums it to mono, sends the same signal out to the left and right channels. It unfortunately only has the name of the effect here and doesn't actually tell us what's going on inside of the block. That being said, I happen to know what's going on inside of the block through lots of Google research. And it's not so different from the regular ensemble effect. In fact, the regular ensemble is basically just a better version, but that doesn't mean that the Poly6 ensemble isn't cool. So I, I like it. I don't see much use for it for me in the future, but let's explore it anyway. So I am going to create an initialized patch. I just have a blank AL1 here. And now I'm going to go into Combi and I was on A39, so let me choose 39. And I'm gonna choose that for uh, four timbres because I'm gonna use these as feeds to the, uh, to the uh, to different ensembles to mimic what the Poly6 ensemble is doing. So let me put each of these timbres on MIDI channel one. And um, while I'm here, I'm going to go to the pitch and delay because a lot of the times uh, they won't all align properly and I'll need to delay them by a few milliseconds. And we, in order to see that, need to route to um, our channels one and two, individual outputs, which is what's going to Cubase. Um, Yep, that's the last channel doesn't matter. I just want to make sure that the first uh, three are phase aligned, which they are not. So let me go to timbre parameter and I'm going to turn them off and on to see like what's where. So this is the first one. Those two are aligned. Let's see if. So the two that are aligned are actually uh, backwards in time. So I need to delay these by hopefully just one millisecond. Nope. It ended up being like 16 milliseconds. 15. There we go. And let me put this one on 15. Let me double check to make sure one and two are phase aligned now. They are, so all three. Of course, the attack is going to sound a little bit weird since the other two are coming in later, but that's okay. Um, I don't really necessarily have to phase align the last one. Uh, it might help line things up, so I guess it doesn't hurt. Let's just try it. Cool, it's already lined up. Perfect. Um, and now... Let's route the sounds to insert effects. I'm just going to route them to the same insert effect that their channel number is. So track one to insert effect one, so on and so forth. Uh, number four, I'm going to make that insert effect the Poly6 Ensemble. Whoops, not that. There we go. And the other ones, I'm going to use the um, by chorus. Nope. And I'm also going to pan uh, all of these left for the by chorus effects and the poly six ensemble right. It's just so that we can see them side by side in this stereo oscilloscope. Um, now let's set up the by chorus modules. So what the Poly6 Ensemble is, uh, is three chorus units that have different delay times and the LFOs are, two of them are traveling at 5 hertz, one of them is traveling at like 0.82 and then they have their phases offset by 120 degrees. Um, so let's design that. I'm using the by chorus effects. I'm going to put them all in serial mode. I'm going to lock the LFOs. 
And then I'm only going to use the uh, second chorus, so I'm going to have it pass through the first chorus unit uninterrupted. Um, for the first one, I'll put this one on like 8-2. And I will bring down the chorus unit itself and put it all the way wet, since it'll be easier to compare with just the wet signal. Um, and now let's do the exact same thing to the other ones. Actually, I'm going to put these on 5 hertz. Serial mode. And then zero out all these parameters. And then I'll put it on wet. Uh, that looks good. Now the last one. Lock it, 5 hertz, serial mode, zeroing out the parameters, and put it on all the way wet, all the way wet. And now for the last one, I'll just put this at like 55, and I'll put it on all the way wet. Uh, I'm going to turn on, I'm gonna, I have every timbre off except uh, timbre 4. And so let's look at what this is. This is the Poly 6 Ensemble. Let's see what that looks like. And again, I have to route to my proper channels, my proper outputs. There we go. And let's turn it on. So you can see that the longer LFO modulation going on, and then you can see the tinier ones that are that have LFOs that are modulating the delay times that are um, slightly askew. That is that their phases aren't exactly lined up. They're they're wiggling at like, like one will go forward a little bit before the other, 120 degrees before the other. Uh, so you can, this is the long one, and then these are the two tiny ones right here. And you can see that those aren't perfect. The two tiny ones aren't perfectly aligned. So to mimic that, I can turn all these on. And for two and three, I'm going to uh, change their phases to 120 and minus 120. These are the faster uh, LFOs. And then I will, let's see, let's see what that looks like for now. And let's uh, turn on these timbers. I'll turn on all of them for now. And now let's uh, add some LFO depth. And let's do the same thing for this one. And now we have to set a bit of delay for the, I could do it here for the longer one, and then I'll add some modulation to that one as well. And that is really loud, so let me turn those down. Oops. And I'll just use the faders here. Let's put them on like, yeah, 90, 92, 93. That's probably fine. Let's see. OK, I could just do it here if I feel like it. If I want them exact, there we are. So that longer one, I'm going to work on that one for a second. Let's bring the delay time down and the modulation depth up. And I can't here, the Poly 6 Ensemble, because it's off. So we're already pretty close. We can see that the depth is not big enough for the, the tiny ones. Let's... Actually... Yeah, the depth isn't, isn't big enough for the tiny ones. And then also... Uh, I want to add a little bit of delay to one of those as well. So that looks pretty close. We can see that the, the long one is traveling near the two tinier ones. It's 
the Poly 6. You know what? I'm just going to say that that's done because <laughs> that's, that's really close. Uh, so again, if we look at the insert effect routing, we have three delays in parallel, each with different idle delay times with LFOs that are offset by 120 degrees with two of the LFOs traveling at 5 hertz and one of them traveling at 0.82. And that is what the Poly 6 Ensemble is doing. It's just, but then it's of course summing to mono. Um, and that's, uh, that's, that's everything. You, the, the regular ensemble effect I would say is better. I think the regular ensemble effect does not have the ability to sum to mono. Let's check actually. Uh, yeah, so it has depth, speed, and then the shimmer parameter, which I really like. Yeah, I, if in most cases I'm going to go for the ensemble effect, I don't really see much point in adding like thickness to a timbre that's going to remain mono. I usually like to have the sides of my mix be a bit more uh, fuzzy with the center being more snappy. Um, but nonetheless, it's still cool that you could like add it in there just for like if you want to have like a thicker lead, like a fuzzy lead timbre or something like that. Um, yeah, and that'll be it for this video and hopefully you enjoy that.